Yes. Yep. I have one. Um, it's uh, it's um, on page two, Jenny. It's Alba A L B A Architects. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, it's one. Okay. But other than that, uh, and so, somebody, I uh, maybe we can just save this for a discussion about the ramp. I just have to, I made a note about it. no no correction. I had some people question um, that I, I know the ren the renderings were for the side of the building. Yeah. Some people wanted to know. Um, is it possible to put it on the back of the building? And I couldn't mm -hmm. answer that. Um, any, of course, any of those options are um, doable. The the problem is uh, it can it can certainly be out back, um, but the the lift it could come in through the back door, I suppose. But what's happening is that if we have if someone has to use that ramp, it's not very friendly because yeah. they have to ring a buzzer half the time. We can't hear it. I just don't feel like it's a very friendly entrance for someone that may, in fact, have to use okay. the building. Okay. Um, it won't take up really, if, with the lift, the ramp would certainly have taken up a lot, a lot of space, of space and yeah. the front definitely wouldn't have. I just think it, I just think it would be, in my, per, in my opinion, Eric, um, much more friendly for it to come in. At least they're coming into an office where Carol is here. Um, as opposed to, I mean, ideally oh, to come in the front door would be the best, but it, but it's not yeah. feasible because we'd have to change doors and right. we'd have to then, it would have to meet ADA requirements where if it comes in this side, it meets the ADA requirements because those doors fit and okay. we wouldn't have to change any of the interior work. Gotcha. I didn't um, know if um, Al, you know, Alva had, uh, that, that was part of their... We did, he did talk about putting yeah. like a, like a, platform or something above the the garage doors and coming in on the side and but it, it turns out it's just going to be a lot of extra money to do, to do it, yeah. and that would have been a ramp not yeah. the lift i think here is the best option for the lift for on this yeah. side but okay. but certainly if if the board thinks that it, they want to look further into it we can but just know that that ramp has to be replaced in the spring yep um yeah. they're they're letting us they're giving us. They're a giving little, us some time yeah. where it should really be condemned at this point, but they're allowing it to, uh, to stay there. Okay. Um, so, but Again. certainly open to any suggestions okay. or thoughts. Well, I figure we'll know more when when uh, Alba comes back to us. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping to hear hear from him soon. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I make a motion to accept the October 9th minutes as amended. I'll I'll second that. All those in favor. Aye. Okay. And now we'll look at the budget workshop. Accept the minutes from October 17th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. The septic permit application for Summit. Yeah, so Summit. this one is, um, this was approved, well, I'm not exactly sure the number of years, but it, it was approved years ago, and um, it's just, they never put it in, and it's just, okay. um, it's the same plan, it just has to be redone. Oh, okay. um, and this is at, on uh, Summit Drive okay. for Rasby. It looks like maybe they're gonna move forward with uh, 
Oops. Oh, there's the application itself. No, yeah. not this here. I forget. Do you remember? Is it five years or ten years? Ten years, I think it is. I think it's ten years. For ten what? Ten years for septic designs. I, I I feel like it's, t I think 10 is the number, but I would have to look into that. I don't know if you want to look at that. So this is on Main Street. So this is a proposed three bedroom house here. Okay. And there's thick as up here. Okay. Like a lot of ledge and boulders in this yes. particular property. Yep. Wonder where that. What's oh, the street again? Summit Drive. Oh, uh, Summit. Oh, it's not. That's just the Okay. Yeah. It looks. Yeah. Right. It's in Franklin Heights. Oh, okay. That's helpful. For um, Jeff and Elliot on Beachwood, Beachwood, yep. yep. And um, the uh, the police chief, fire chief, and road agent have not had a chance to look at it. But yep. we're not. I just figured I'd bring it to the board. Sure. Um, they would of course sign or not sign based on you know sight distance and all mm -hmm. of that so they haven't looked at that yet but i thought okay. i'd bring it to the board Great. just in case Thank you. Um, and such will be the case with the next one as well jill okay. It's off of Copper Line, I think. Okay. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Take a left. Um, yeah, and I think go. it's one of the ones you have to okay. left to your side. And this next one is um, on Plantation Road, okay. Pignatelli, okay. and they are okay. they're going to start yeah. building as well. So we would we'll expect to see a building permit here pretty soon, yeah. also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 So if you remember at our last meeting we talked briefly that um, before we before I sent letters off to the two associations that have requested road takeover yeah. that the board should make a decision if they are in fact going to take that two town meeting um, yeah. based on Red's recommendations that would be part of the letter to let them know that um, although it, if, if you decide to bring it to town meeting that if the town votes to accept it, this work has to be completed before it is officially accepted. Um, I know Scott's already spoken with you guys about you know his thoughts and all that, but so the two the two roads are Balancing Rock Road, if you remember, and um, Trail Side Road. Mm -hmm. Trail Balancing Rock being the one that needs the most work. That's the one that needs the. Um, the proper turnaround yeah. they don't have it's not quite big enough the yeah. hammerhead at the end yeah. and um trailside road really is more grading and um things that could probably be easily taken care of um so okay that's just the decision i need before i can before i send a letter off yeah. to them right. letting them know i figured okay um you know my thoughts were can, can um if we do let the le legislature we do bring it to town meeting um, can the selectmen say we don't we don't recommend it? Uh, you know, we, I, I, we, have, we have further discussion that you know we take to heart maybe what Scott said. I didn't. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and we can yeah. we can certainly um, if you're not ready to make that decision I can certainly send these associations a letter mm -hmm. letting them know that this is what the um, town's engineer came up with for fixes yeah. if the town you know that you're still in discussions if you want to do that we can certainly continue to we've got some time before it has to go on a warrant yeah. article um, Time being like a month, right? <laughs> um, but but we you know we've had these for over a year now, so um, we've looked at them at all different times of the year. And, yep. Um, so I think it's a matter of you know gonna make a decision at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's really up to you guys. I'm fine with whatever. I just need to know really how we're gonna word the letter to the to the associations. And um, I know that Steve. Sorry, I was. Steve Plant mm -hmm. sent an email questioning um, what, was what, what was happening. He had read it in right. the paper, and um, so I told him that you would be tonight sort of discussing it. Mm -hmm. That's right. His letter was questioning whether... His email was if yeah. what, what was happening, if yeah. the board was going to take it to town meeting or not. Okay. Um, okay. These associations can always do a, a petition and right. put it in it themselves if, yeah. if the, t okay. the board decides not to. Right. Um, but I think it's... It's okay. we should we're we're well over yeah we're well over a year okay. after having gotten your request okay. so mm -hmm. um, and um, just the last question Jill yes um, please did, did, does the work do the upgrades have to be done before in, in, before they're brought to town meeting or no, they can, it can be conditional it can be con so the warrant article would read that you know they're bringing it to to town meeting vote Bring on the condition that these updates are that the conditions recommendations are taken care of before it's even before it officially is taken off. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, you can bring it to town meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're just having on the, on the, on the letter right the now. The letter, right. Right. Yeah. right. I, um, I, would, I would say, go, you know, go ahead and write the letter and that we're going to bring it to that we're, we would bring it to town meeting yeah. uh, condition yeah and then i agree yeah, yeah. The, a conditional uh, or, acceptance or, yeah, yeah right right, right. The, the, yes. you know that yeah. they would get all that 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 work Stop would be done. completed yeah, yeah. even yeah. if even if it's an affirmative town meeting vote that right. work would still, still have to be done in that work yeah. dra yeah. would help us word that so that it's Right, correct. correct. Yeah, yeah that sounds good to me. Okay, yeah. if you don't mind. So I will, um, I will send a letter okay. off to these folks and Great. let them know that it will be brought to town meeting with these conditions. Okay. Wonderful. And those would be Red's recommendations. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. right. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, tax warrant. So tax warrant. Yes, um, it's that time. Mm -hmm. So as you know, at our meeting on Wednesday, you um, reviewed the tax rate. So I ran the warrant today, and it uh, needs um, selectman signatures. Um, I don't know if you want me to read. I don't know if I need. I guess I could read the warrant. It's it's um, the tax rate is eighteen ninety two, and um, so the warrant itself is for two million eight hundred sixty eight hundred fifty six dollars. Let me reread that. Two million eight hundred fifty-six thousand ninety-five dollars. So that is um, for a total commitment for the year of five million three hundred seventy-one thousand nine seventy-two. Um, so, and we're there's a we're within the half percent that the DRA says we should be. In fact, we're only a few hundred dollars off, which is very typical mm -hmm. and normal um, based on what DRA says our number should be. So. Um, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Dave Woodward and I, the assessor today, kind of scrubbed the, we reviewed it, made sure things were in order. Yep. Okay. And uh, that's good. So yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. I don't think you need to vote. I think you just need just to sign. sign. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I like the fun balance. I know, right? Yeah, it's so yeah. good. Thank you for letting me do those additions. Yeah, of course. Yep. All right, feasibility study for municipal wastewater treatment facility. Bob, do you mind coming on that? No. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Okay. This is about a month ago, so I met with Red, yep. and we talked about it, and we drove around the area. And uh, at that time, if you recall, he uh, said he couldn't work on it for a while, but he, he looked, I guess he wanted to be paid for it. And I asked him to give me an estimate of the number of hours that he thought I'd take it. Yep. And then lo and behold, <laughs> a couple days ago I got this email, he had done, he had done the work. <laughs> so uh, I guess my first comment about it, I think you said to the successful publishers, I'm very really thanking him. Uh -huh. I know you'll do it, but this, uh, and, and my general comments on it, well, a couple of things. First of all, when I met with him, we, we talked about also putting in a, a large lease. Uh, he doesn't address that in here. But I'm assuming because he didn't put it in, he didn't think it was practical. That, that being said then, even if it was practical to do that, the rest of his commentary, I think, you know, I don't know how you took what he said, but basically he's saying it's not a good investment. Right. And yeah. uh, it's, not a, it's not a good investment for, for the town or the taxpayers. So, yep. you know, yep. he did a very thorough job. So. It looks like it. Yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, and that's what we were trying to figure out yeah. as kind of the first well, step right. is, is, does this make sense for the town our size? Right. Yeah. What, what I was kind of encouraged by in reading it is that he felt that, you know, contrary to things I had heard, that the people have pretty good septic systems along okay. most people. Really. He says that in here. You know? huh. And yeah. so, you know, uh, so yeah, he said yeah. that somewhere. Good. That yeah. is good, yeah, because that is, that's contrary to some other information. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I had heard as well. Yeah. So. He so. said he reviewed a cross section of the uh, mm -hmm. site septic system for commercials, depending on the use of the site. He said restaurants have refilters all right. required. Yeah. 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 So, and, and, and the thing to even, even if one or, one or two were not in compliance, that wouldn't be justification to, to, to burden all the taxpayers right. <laughs> and the residents with that. So that's. Great. So I'm, unless you actually do more, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, no, that sounds great, and we very much appreciate sure. the work you've done up till now. And Please, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to notify. I will notify. Um, I guess it's DES. Yeah, that we're not going to pursue this further. That sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, thanks Bob. so much, Bob. We appreciate right. it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, grant requests. So I received a. This is. I received an email from Bernie. Yep. We didn't quite make the deadline for the um, handicapped yeah. ramp, and it wasn't real. It wasn't real clear that we would probably even yeah, be in the be running a good for match it. Match for that. Yeah. So her question is this. I'll just, if you don't mind, I'll just read her yes. email real quick so you can see. Um, she said, um, um, "In working on grant research, there seems there seems to be two ways we could attack the revitalization idea on Main Street." This depends on the board's philosophy. So at the next board meeting, would you please ask if they would like to deal with grant requesting project by project, mm -hmm. and she's not including the lift, yeah. or if they want to tackle a large grant for revitalization of the community. The later one would need to need the creation of a strategic plan and a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Not sure if they want to do that, or maybe they want private enterprise to take the lead question, Chamber of Commerce. So she's just looking before she puts too much more work in any of the grant work. and. Um, I don't know if we're really ready. I don't know. I, I yeah. guess that's her question. So I told her I would bring it to you, and she asked if I could. So, um. yeah. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I think we throw as much at, at it, as, and it's not hopefully it's a thoughtful answer. But I think we should throw as much at it as we possibly can. Your, you know, your idea mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that you would propose with with the one nine. Uh, 192, 192 main, main. Yeah. I think is it is you know I've I've actually talked to some people about that. Yeah. And I just think it's a really great idea. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And uh, you know I see some of the development going on in the towns around here, and there seems to be a little bit more of a buzz. You know I hope Hungry Bear Cafe yep. works. Yeah. That's, works yeah, out. That's getting me. Yep. Um, so you're so, thinking are, when you yeah. say that, are you thinking Eric more of a a project as a whole, or are you thinking more project to project? I, 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 uh, I think as a whole. I think as, as a whole. A whole. Oh, okay. I really do, I think. More strategic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough um, one because it's, yeah, it is. sorry, it just depends what, um, a, right, yeah, and what comes up as, as we move forward. But it's certainly, in my mind, again, I can only give 
I, having a strategic plan is never a bad idea, as right. you can imagine, which right. is why we have our um, planning board and we have a, yeah. um, I'm at a loss for what, the big plan. Master, oh, plan. master, master plan. plan, yeah, master there it is, plan. the master yeah. plan, that's why we, so that's, can, that's sort of our strategic plan and yeah. maybe we take a look at that and and say, okay, here's what, it, here's what our master plan is telling us and, you know, right. maybe look at that yeah. a little bit. Because, yeah. you know, I'm just thinking of the, you know, we all seem to be, and I'm excited, I'm more excited, as much as excited as anybody about our trail, about the trail plans. Yes, yeah, and I too, think that, too. you know, how do we target, can we target that with the, with the grants or right. is right. that part of the big yep. st strategic plan? Okay, yeah, know? yeah, I agree. And not just, not just limited to the trails, but kind of the walkability and bikeability Bike of mm -hmm. the area, you know, even if that's sidewalks, trails, whatever widening yeah, existing just, roadways but I agree that's yeah. I think um, gonna be I would think a pretty big yeah. part of you know the plan yeah I do you know I see some of the neighboring towns Bethlehem and, and Littleton and uh, you know I'd like to think that they have master you know their master plans and their and their businesses are working together if you you know if you go to the colonial you get it you get a discount ticket for reckless brewing right or, yeah you know, yeah right so Yep. Yeah, that, 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 that would work for us. Yeah. Like All that. right. I will shoot her yeah. back an email, and then we can kind of work with her see, and yeah. see what, what yeah. she has, what her thoughts are, or what's in yeah. her mind. Yeah. Sure. At least to sort of start the conversation. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I don't. I don't have really a TA, a town administrator update. Um, we pretty much covered everything that I've been working on on Wednesday, so yeah, um, I'm gonna skip that. Okay. Um, do we have any correspondence? No correspondence. Okay. Um, committee reports. Conservation Commission, they were going to go walk Mackenzie Woods. Um, I think, Mary, is that going to be this week? No, they've done it. They did it last week. They yeah. did it, um, was it two days ago? I yeah. Guess. And luckily found two markers that they needed to find. Oh, good. On the southern edge, like between the two properties lying on one side, they had the bushwhack like mad. Yep. And then they had, as Chris said, his navigational ability plus Red's equipment, they, you know, tried to find the points and this and that, and he said it was really good they came out of the woods where they hoped to and where they were supposed oh, to. Oh, good. So they felt very good about good. it. Good. Good. That's great. So whether they actually stopped and marked it or I think they were going to because they were taking, you know, nails and hammers and yes. things. Yep. So I haven't heard more, but he sounded very upbeat what I got That's from it. That's great. Sounds like, yeah, the best attempt yet at yeah. trying to. I mean, I think they've really defined where that corner is and where that corner turns. Yep. So and that was the objective. Yeah. So that's great. Great. Thank you. Um, CIP, Jeff's on here. Energy Commission. Um, we, we met um, last uh, Tuesday and we had a chock full meeting of ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to touch on all of them. They, I'll start with the fact that I think I mentioned it at our previous budget meeting, but they were, they, uh, they talked, they threw around the idea, that, again, the uh, Energy Commission threw around the idea of a, of a capital reserve fund for energy projects. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we can do that or not, but that's something that uh, the mm -hmm. Energy Commission certainly is looking at doing. Um, they talked about, um, this is something that the energy, uh, Fitz is going to do, the chairman. Um, evidently, Jack Cook, uh, who is the founder of the Energy Commission, for the uh, initiative, uh, he had done previous audits of the town, and that's one of the mm -hmm. things that that they, the Energy Commission would like to do is maybe do audits of of the um, of the municipal buildings. You know, I think uh, specifically the highway garage and the safety services building mm -hmm. in the city. And they, and I think right off the bat for the safety services, we do have 2017 numbers, 
So with a baseline, so they're thinking that, you know, to collect the 2018 numbers and do an audit and see where it's going. What does the audit do? What do they find or what do they look for in an, in an energy audit? I think they're looking for um, electric, uh, in a specifically with the safety services, they were looking at a, the electrical costs. Mm -hmm. I'll give you, for mm -hmm. instance, in 2017, I think the electric was 5,600. The propane usage was 3,300. Um, so they're looking at the you know, how much is, is is spent, and then is there any way is, is that what it should be? Where is that where it yeah. should be, or, or can we cut down sure. the costs? Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. the audit would encompass that. I know. Um, and I would assume they've taken the like for example propane. As you all know, those yeah. those rates went up. Great, just jumped a whole yeah. dollar, right. average on a dollar yeah. Yeah. from one year to the next. Yeah, so I'm sure they take that into account. Yeah, okay. and I know you mentioned we mentioned that last week uh, with regards to uh, I think one of the bill uh, was a town hall. Uh, it, it was a rise in yeah. costs. Of yes, things. town yeah. hall and um, highway garage. Highway yeah. garage, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and then uh, you know one of the other things they would look at would if. Uh, an energy order of the highway garages. Um, I guess the heat, there's heaters at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we all know from- Scott uh, calls them as toasters. This toast, this toast. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we all know that from grade school heat rises. So it's like, can you, and you can't put fans in them. So, you know, where do we go? I don't know yeah. what an energy, energy order would do there. Yeah. Um, so, and I think, um, yeah. if, if I might, I know that um, there's obviously we've had discussions about do we replace the highway building itself. Yeah. I think, you know, that should be part of the discussion. Do you spend the money to do an audit or does it cost money to do an energy mm -hmm. audit? I don't know. Um, think of those things as we're moving forward to. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, just I thought I brought it up. Okay, okay. I think one of the gentlemen who's on the committee, uh, and I certainly don't want to volunteer for anything, Bob Florisi yeah. is familiar with that. He was not at the meeting, so maybe he can bring some information to it. Yeah. So, um, so we're moving in that direction. Um, Jenny, I don't want to volunteer you for anything, but we, we were uh, we talked about downloading our uh, energy or uh, energy numbers for the town onto the. EP, uh, PA website, and I think uh, again that in one of them we didn't want to volunteer Karen uh, uh, Foss. She was not there at the meeting, but she would be more than happy. I know she's been trying for for a long time, quite a while, a year and a half or so, to get us to take <laughs> yeah. over. So we just weren't ready, but we might be ready, we're depending be. on what that's involved. But we might okay. be ready to do that. Okay. So we can I'm, talk to Karen. We'll yeah. Okay. Okay. It's right. okay. Yeah, it's basically it's for okay. Jenny's just since she's feeling yeah. like, oh my gosh, what am I going to have to take over? It's, no, it's no, entering it's data into a website, into a database right, okay. to track our energy. I don't think it's really all that involved. No, but it's, it's just that, that, that entry. Cool. Yeah. It's a data, yeah. 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 So yeah. that's what yeah. it would be. Okay. Good. Thanks. And uh, uh, we have two, we're trying to track them down. There is two street two street lights of our new street lights are inactive so mm -hmm. that's being pursued yeah. um, we also talked about I think I mentioned this a community a solar facility as well mm -hmm. as a town for a solar facility I guess there are a lot of towns around New Hampshire that stick their facility they use uh, land around the around their um, Transfer station. Yeah. And I don't know, we took a walk around our transfer station. I Do don't they know. use it because they pull energy from the landfill? No, I think no? it's just it's a good just way they, 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 they decide to do it. So I don't know if there's, I don't know if you can put it on marsh or not, wetlands, right. but. Other communities do put them on top of their big land. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, and I think that's. Um, uh, it's, it's a, they would bring some soul trackers. We talk. Uh, they were, we're looking to add a little bit to the committee. Also, uh, a couple of names came up. I won't mention them. So we're looking for some uh, talent from Franconia, which there is a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. So, so uh, okay, that's our report. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Great. The planning board. Um, the planning board. Um, we had talked about. Um, 
appointing somebody to the uh, North Country Council. We did get a, uh, a victim. I'm going to start a volunteer. <laughs> volunteer. <laughs> we did get a volunteer. Sorry. Um, so no, actually, Keith was Keith Batchfeld. Held it. Batch Helder was uh, was very enthusiastic about doing it, and nice. he was more than happy to do it. So he gave me his information. He gave me. His email and his uh, phone number, and I didn't know if we had to do a formal. I think you have to do an official. You have to yeah. vote to appoint him. Okay. Um, and we're we we need a second person for anybody in the room that might like to also okay. be a commissioner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are looking for a second one as well. But that's okay. really great. Okay. Yeah, that is great. So c can we formally appoint him? Yeah. Uh, you are. Or? You have the power to. Uh, yeah. okay. As long as the planning board, the planning board recommends him, and then yeah. the, and then you guys appoint him. And we do. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Good, I'll make sure you have, we have that information. Okay. Right, yeah. Um, and then so we also... Gonna happen. Yeah. And they're going to do it probably right now. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... okay. <laughs> I make a, a motion to appoint uh, Keith Bashelder, um, member of the planning board, to uh, as our representative. To they the call him North a commissioner, actually. Commissioner. Oh. To North okay, Council. commissioner to North Country Council. I second. Okay. All those in Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, all those in favor, maybe you said. That it worked. Okay. Right. Okay. Super. I'll let Keith know. Um, we also had a discussion. Uh, that's what happens when something doesn't get voted when it should have gotten voted, and it hangs around. So we had further discussion on the village of mixed use district zoning, mm -hmm. uh, the regulation that's going to come before uh, town meeting, mm -hmm. and we'll do it properly this time, and we talked about we have to have two public hearings, and mm -hmm. we want to just kind of uh, punch up the wording a little bit and make sure everything was yeah. done correctly. Mary, I don't know if you had anything to add. No. No? Okay. Eric, I do have yeah. one. Um, I forwarded twice two emails. We got a, another update. I think it's from North Country Council. Oh, okay. There's a survey that needs, it's a required RS, by RSA survey okay. that planning boards need to complete. I've sent it to FAD and CCU now twice. So somebody needs to take do that survey. Um, okay. So if you could check in your emails. I, I think it's North Country. I can't remember who sent us the okay. email, but it's okay. per RSA. We have to complete this survey. Okay. It's pretty simple. It's about our planning, our master zoning plan. ordinance, uh, master, all of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, we so can it can be done at our next meeting, or um, uh, well, I think there's a deadline. So okay, if you I'll can check. look at that email, I just sent it towards the end of last week. Okay. Um, to you and Thad, so if you could. Okay. Check it out. Okay. I'll uh, I'll shoot Thad an email. Okay. Yeah. Be okay. Great. great. Okay. Yeah, as as we decided, I think we decided last meeting, Joel, that we were going to take part in the appeal. Yep. So um, I just got a real, I guess, a quick note. Um, what was the last? Um, lose track of time here. Uh, it was a couple uh, a week ago, Friday. Um, and uh, she talked about, uh, again, this is from Christine Fillmore, our attorney on the matter. And uh, yes, the uh, Supreme Court, New Hampshire Supreme Court, has issued an order formally accepting Northern Pass's appeal and denied. We did do a motion. I think she's working hard for us. They did do a motion to, to, um, to, to dismiss the appeal. And I guess it's not unexpected that they would take it. Um, She's attached a copy, which I won't go through. Um, and so the next thing that happens is the SCC will will have to put together uh, a certified record of the proceedings before the SCC, uh, and then deliver that to the Supreme Court further mm -hmm. with the appeal. I think this is all, but just time. It's more yeah, time. Yeah. It's time. It's you delay. know, yeah, yeah. delay. And, um, and I think I, you know, I would think that. What, however, this appeal does play out. I think it's just it's got to be for future, you know, for future projects. I can't yeah. see it is changing the course of th this Northern Pass of, of this project, yeah. Yeah, Northern Pass. So I'd like to I'd like to think that. So um, she will keep us informed as all this develops. Uh, I don't know if she needs any witnesses. This is just strictly appeal, uh, and there's no new. There shouldn't be any new facts introduced. The, the certified record is the record. And uh, and that's that's that. Okay. Yeah. So, if uh, anybody's interested in some light reading, <laughs> uh, I had something on that on Northern Pass oh, pl that I yeah. learned I'm, just two days, two or three days ago, 
that when it goes to the court, they have the ability to send it back rather than saying it's good, it's not. Mm -hmm. They send it back and it ends up at the SEC. The problem is, that explains why Norton Pass tried to get two of the members off the SEC. Mm -hmm. They did not succeed, but they already knew this is how it plays out. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to become very political mm -hmm. because the governor is the one who appoints the members, but I think it is the registrar of deeds or something who says somebody else makes the final appeal. Approval, okay, yes, we'll do it or not, but it's probably going to end up in a sticky mess. Mm -hmm. Probably. So, yep. the longer it plays out, I, I suppose, you know, the, the you know, longer it plays out, the better in our, our favor. Well, yeah. yeah, but I guess they but, put, spent so much money already, they'd rather spend a little more. More, right. Yeah. I think that's about it. Uh, Jill, I just did want to say we have that profile cable consortium and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I think that, that will meet on the second Thursday of each month so we don't have to be. Okay. But this is, um, I'll give you this for our records, this is a, uh, a map of the coverage uh, and service area mm -hmm. for Franconia. They just wanted to be, as they come to us and start soliciting us for some fees and money and yeah. some support, they just wanted to, to realize how much the cable uh, co does cover Franconia and w how much it does service. I think I always had a question as to how far mm -hmm. it's, it, it did extend out. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the map. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. In case anybody wants to. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'll put them in the file. Okay. Thank you. Any public input? Yes, Bob. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, it's the public safety building, not the safety service building. Okay, public okay. safety building. <laughs> we always do thank you, Bob. I know that's you work. Public <laughs> public <laughs> that's a, thank you, Bob. Okay. But hey, public, public safety. Public but anyhow, um, regarding that building, um, I, th I think the Energy Commission is aware of this, but just a reminder that when it was built, it was provision was made to be able to uh, tie in um, um, geothermal okay. and provision was also made to tie in solar. Mm. Because of the, the situation in the building, uh, it does have good exposure for solar. Mm. Okay. I don't think the money was there or I, right. I don't remember exactly what the issue was. But So just so that they keep that in mind somewhere that in the future if they want to do that, the building is set up to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. and, the, and the roof is easily... Uh, yeah, everything, yeah. Every, every, everything was yeah. done. Okay. Yeah. Right. I remember that. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Mary? I have a question. Yes. Maybe I wrote it down wrong at last Wednesday's meeting when you were talking about what the tax rate would be. Mm -hmm. And I wrote down 1817, and now you're saying it's 1892. It is 18. Uh, maybe it is 1817. No, no. Uh, no, I think, I think it's 1892. It went up a dollar seventeen. Maybe that's where the seventeen came from. I think you might have messed up. I think we I don't know. Yeah, I don't have the paper. It was a, I have mine. That's my word. Hang on. Eighteen ninety-two is the tax rate. That's correct. It went up a dollar seventeen. Yeah. yeah. I do. I can give it to you right now. Municipal is six dollars. There's no change in that. County a dollar ninety eight. There was a small up on that. Local education eight seventy four. That went up a dollar seventeen. State education two twenty. That went down a little bit, but state and county kind of if they wash the cancel each other out, each other out yeah. for a total of eighteen ninety two. Okay, so it's the school that the tax rate. Correct. Yep. Any other public? Yes, Don. I have one other question. First of all, thank you for putting the audits out there. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't read all of it, but I had a couple questions on um, their comments on the bank reconciliation mm -hmm. in town policies. Mm -hmm. They referred to those on last year's audit. 
Well, the reconciliations, it's the town treasurer reconciling the bank accounts in a timely manner and then reconciling with your ledger. That's right. And is there any progress on that? Or? We're slowly working on that. Um, it's just been a matter of getting Tina to work with me to get that done. It's not for lack of trying, it's just I'm sure it's getting, lot, getting yeah. time to get it done. So hopefully, I, I don't, hopefully by next year's audit we'll be in a system, we'll but there. right now we're still working on that. Okay. Um, and what about um, town policies for like conflict of interest, fraud? Those things, um, honestly, I didn't get a chance to work on those this year, hopefully, but hopefully next year. Now that the budget is finally at a place where we can pull it out of the system and really work with it, um, hopefully ballot policies will be a focus for this coming, coming year. So, I, I know that yeah. there are people in town that are willing to help sure. you guys need it, so okay. don't be afraid to ask. Great. Thank you, Don. I just yes. have one quick thing. I, um, I just wanted to, uh, this was, I was able to volunteer on Saturday for the uh, Halloween Cup, just two hours, yeah. but um, I was really impressed with amazing. the volume of people that show up in this town and the the amount of work that takes place and it it looks seamless and it goes off without a hitch. So just kudos yeah. to literally everybody who yeah. helps with that. Yeah. I'm, it's just I impressive agree. and uh, it was kind of fun to be part of it, even though for me it was a real small portion. Um, and I wasn't awake for half of it, but <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> anyway, so I thought it was super. It yeah. was, it was huge. Yeah. yeah. 49 yes. teams. I mean, it's incredible. Well over 2,000 people on that DAO. It's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't have the final, I've, I've got the, the deposit ready to go, but we don't have the final numbers, but it's it's going to be close to eight or $10,000 income. I mean, it's really it's amazing. amazing. It's logistics yeah. that, it's just you know, and then our hopefully our businesses made some money and I just wanted to give yeah, a, a, a yeah, kudos to, to, to everybody yeah, involved yeah. because it was uh, it was really cool. I thought what was interesting about that also was the number of people the town seemed to handle it very well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. parking and yeah, was bad. And, yeah. I was parking. It was I was just, I was just saying, <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of cars, and yeah. Did yeah. you yeah. have a triathlon in town too? Yeah, there was a triathlon in town. Marathon. Our population went from like standard to us that Saturday we must have had an extra five to six thousand yeah, people in town. Yeah, that's right. right. I bet that's awesome. Right. So, and not a single problem. Yeah, yeah. I just have some more <laughs> kudos for, yes. um, I unfortunately had to go to Boston mm. last Wednesday afternoon mm. when there was the accident on oh, 93. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. And the state police were there, but our Franconi Police Department was there and the fire department was there. Good. Yep. And yeah. they really managed that well because it was a four car accident and that mm. truck was in bad shape. That was messy. It was it so was lucky. Yeah. Everybody made out. Yeah. Everybody was okay. So yeah. everybody did, uh, it. They did a great job. A hand capable man oh. with a student in yeah. his oh, chair. Geez. That's Every glass really window blown out of the oh van, and he's oh. sitting there smiling. Yeah, <laughs> perfectly safe, no harm. Wow. Nice. I mean, by the grace of God. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank but you. They did a great That's job diverting the traffic because I know people that got stuck coming the other way, and they said it really was pretty seamless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really great. It's good to hear. And we love Boomer. And we, we love Boomer. Boomer. We love Boomer. Mac, are you all non public? No. Okay. okay. So I wasn't sure. Great. Okay. Um, so yeah, Mac, if you don't mind coming up now to do anything that's public, so you sure. should have some. Okay, great. <laughs> yes. Great. Everybody okay with dogs? I let them walk around. Yes. yes. Is, that, is that a drug dog or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He's a treat <laughs> dog. He can sniff out a treat, no problem. <laughs> 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 yes. Checking you out. You be careful. Yeah. So it's not a police dog? No, he's not. He's the account has paid zero dollars. I don't mean it. This dog. No, I know. Just let you know. He's my pet. He is an SPCA rescue from upstate New York. Not just any pet. He's not just any pet. He's, he's, he's and uh, he is. We're calling him a service dog in training. Yep. Okay. Uh, and the kids love him. The yep. folks at the Lafayette Center help love him. They bring him to the Dow. They love him. Yep. He's How a very. How old is he? He's almost. He'll be two yes. years in January. Wow. Uh, he's so mature. And, uh, he's doing good. He's just my, he's a great PR. Yeah. Yes, he, he is. Does it. Matter of fact, I got requested by the chief of Littleton to bring him up to Littleton School tomorrow. Oh, did to you? To do the crosswalk there. Oh, cool. Uh, and I'm going to help him out. Yeah, I love that. So. That's really cool. Hey. Good book. Anyway, uh, let's see. What we got? Yeah. Um, Mac, we're going to start. I'm going to talk about food prices and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to start with the 
We got our extra body cam, so now awesome. we have three for three officers. Okay. Uh, and it was seamless, and that's really nice because this way if you have two people working, and the next shift comes in, like when we have a triathlon and a cup, okay. uh, that we get to get the night guy comes in. So there's batteries that have, there's, you know, we kind of all have our own now. Yeah. Which nobody has to wait for one to charge or worry about, you know, if somebody didn't download this stuff already. So it's working out great. Um, <clears throat> so that's good. We're looking at going back to in, to we a couple of years ago we solely started using Presby's for um, filling up mm -hmm. for fuel for the cruisers, um, and it was brought to my attention that the state prices are significantly cheaper. So we are going to reactivate our account. I mean, not that it's ever been deactivated, but it's we're going to use it as an option okay. so that if. If we happen to be in Littleton, yep. then we can fill up at a cheaper price. Okay. And over the course of a certain amount of time, that could be a significant savings in fuel pricing. Okay. Um, however, we start to weigh the cost benefits of going up to Littleton every time we fill up, right. as opposed to staying in town. Yeah. How much does it cost? How much does it, I mean, if you're going up anyway, or for whatever reason, I just want my guys to have the option. If you're there and you want to get the cheaper gas, great. If, you, if you're in town and you're busy and you're running radar and you, you don't have time to run up there or run back, get it at Presby's. I don't see the, the harm in having both options open to us. Mm -hmm. And then as we utilize it, there's a potential for some cost savings and why don't we do it? Because uh, fuel prices are not going down. Yeah. I think they're, they're only gonna go up and I'm gonna try to like budget for that a little bit yeah. just to give us that little cushion. You know, and if we if we have that cushion um, it, for the a fuel price rise and we're able to not have to dive into that because we're being um, cognizant of the prices and going to those up cheaper, yep. then it just makes sense. Yep. So. I think I mentioned to Matt too, the, the highway uses um, diesel, so they mm -hmm. fill up at the Franconia station mm -hmm. when it's cheaper. Sometimes it's not, so they fill up here. So mm -hmm. Scott watches that, so that's yes. absolutely that's kind perfect. Of just yeah, a that's good. That. Yeah. Uh, notch parking, I uh, had submitted a uh, ordinance that I had written for the citations, the uh, potential citations for the notch. Um, I have gotten some feedback, the lawyer said that it was good. Uh, really all that would need to be put into place would be the select board signatures okay. once it's read. However, I'd like to caution against that at this time. I don't think it's something we should rush into. Okay. I think there's uh, some stuff to think about that's been brought to my attention um, about just because that would be, you know, I'm trying to play nice in the sandbox. I want to help if there's a way I can help, but at the same time, there's some other stuff that, um, some collateral uh, advantages and disadvantages that I think we should look at before we sign anything, before okay. we folks sign anything. And, I, and I want to, at some point when I get more organized on, on those topics to, to air those concerns of writing that ordinance. Okay. Um, I've been getting feedback from the town. Um, the feedback that I'm getting is, don't do it. <laughs> They're saying this is the state dumping something on the town's lap. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm trying to explain that we're trying to like all parties involved to make the notch safer. And if there's a role that we can play to be supportive of that, that but I'd be happy to assist if they can come up with the right kind of money and funding and they've done what we've asked thus far with the shovel and everything so I don't want to totally snuff the state and their efforts yeah. but at the same time I want to make sure that if we do do something that we understand and the liability and, and what we exactly we are occurring by putting that ordinance into place. Yeah. 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 So does, does um, Chief, does this happen only if you know, Lincoln. If Lincoln That's is part of the conversation. In, yeah, okay. it's, okay. it can't be a. It can't just be half the notch. Right. You know? Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. And so we can only enforce from the link, from the Franconia town line up. State police is all about writing any ordinance we come up with, but they're not really gonna. They're not gonna enforce it themselves. So there's all these ideas. We're hitting some some brick walls, but I, I have faith that if we sit down and have enough meetings, that we can hash most of this out. But um, I've sat and talked with some longtime law enforcement colleagues mm -hmm. and they advise me of some of the, their concerns for um, or, or, or things that you might not have, I might not have thought about in yep. writing this ordinance. So I, I'm thinking about them and yep. I'm saying let's hold off and at some point when I'm more organized to discuss some of the ins and outs of it. Okay. So uh, and, and liability that's come along with it. So okay. that's that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. This is the rest of this closed session. Oh, this is not a no trend. I haven't given up. <laughs> yeah. This is a fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> this is not just a, not a new yeah. uh, police trend. Yeah. But this is Beard for Bucks. Oh, yeah. uh, you can go on the last Facebook post I wrote and you can okay. donate if you so choose okay. to yeah. to the Child yeah. Advocacy Center. Uh, so I've raised, I think, 100 bucks with this nice. beer nice. Uh, for the kids. Yeah. Wow. And uh, 
Yeah, so that's the <laughs> last part. Ryan and I are doing it. I'm gonna do a quick awesome. follow up Facebook post, awesome. but uh, I will be shaving by Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I just got past the itchy stage. Oh, I, yeah. I finally got past the itchy, <laughs> and now it's gotta go. It does. It does Thanks. look good. Tell me what's uh, going up. Right? Oh, the bucks and the rest of it's closed session. Okay. So, right. so I um just speak when you're going in, I have yes. um so we have a personnel, I have um uh, attorney client. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. All right, I make a motion to go in a non public for personnel and Attorney client, privilege. I'll second. Those in favor? I don't have nothing else. Nothing after week. What's that? Nothing else. I have nothing else. I don't have anything else after this session. Is it next week? Two weeks. Two weeks. So we're doing every other week now. So how many accidents and deaths have resulted from the uh, Chapman Coopie Park? As far as I know? Okay. But the amount, of, <laughs> the amount of cars, well, we are, what we're having is we're having so many more cars now. I get I get whether I do try to do this. I just have a problem with who's taking it. It comes down to money and liability. That's what this is all about. They're trying to mediate their money and liability, right? They're trying to get the lower their liability by getting nobody to park in the notch, make it safer. And they're trying to save their money by making us do it, okay? And so I'm trying to mediate our liability by taking on the responsibility and also mitigate the money that's gonna cost us, right? Because that's the two topics that are fueling every angle of this. So my job is to protect our purposes and, and our intentions. And I don't wanna see us being just because the state's trying to save money and mediate safety that we take on liability for it and spend our own money. Right. So that, I want to support it if they will think it's going to make it safer and there's a role that we can play, just like Lincoln's going to play the same role and State Police is going to same, play the same role, then we'll play a role too. We're not going to be the only ones that aren't going to cooperate. I, I'm, I, don't, I want, you know, they're also the people who write our safety grants, right? right. So, so you want to play nice in the sandbox, but at the same time, I'm not, it's not our job to expose ourselves any more than necessary or extend ourselves beyond our means. Is there, is there any room to add on this? If, if, it, if it comes to this and we make money, yeah, you know, it comes there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, there is. Okay. There's a potential for some revenue, but at what cost is what you have to ask yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. we working on it. Of money the state is going to call. Yeah, um, they, get, they get grants. That's my 2020 project, is to tackle the art of grant writing. <laughs> um, that wasn't a priority this year. It's like the art of learning how to be a chief this year. <laughs> so, 